What's up everyone, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at this piecewise function word problem. So take a second to read through this. Now the first few things that will jump out is that Lucy gets a bonus of $25 for each sale that she makes. And the number of sales is S, but she gets a $25 bonus for each sale if she makes 20 sales or less. And the next part here, now she gets a $40 bonus if she makes more than 20 sales a month. And the first thing we have to do is write a piecewise function that models Lucy's bonus for making S sales. So a few things that we have to be mindful of here. That, well for one, that when Lucy makes less than or equal to 20 sales a month, she gets a $25 bonus for each sale. So that tells us that B, you know, the amount of uh, bonus that she gets is equal to 25 times S. So really all we're doing is, is if she makes one sale, she gets $25. If she gets, if she makes two sales, she would have 25 times S equals two, which would be a $50 bonus. So this part here isn't too bad, but where things get a little bit tricky is when we consider the next part, what happens when she makes more than 20 sales in a month. So for the S greater than 20 scenario, well, there's a few things that we have to consider. That the 21st sale, she makes $40 per sale for every sale more than 20, but we still have to account for the first 20 sales. So for the first 20 sales, Lucy makes B equals 25 times 20. So we're essentially just using our first equation here. And that tells us when we multiply this out that Lucy makes $500 in bonuses if she sells 20 items. So that's something that we have to be very mindful of here because now for the 21st sale, she's going to make $40 per sale, but she already made $500. So this is very important. So when we have to set up the second equation, and remember, this is for when S is bigger than 20. Well, the starting amount, she already made $500. So remember, all we did was multiply the 20 sales by $25, which represents the bonus to tell us that she has a $500 bonus. But now, instead of multiplying S by 25, now we're going to be multiplying by 40. Because... The bonus increases. That's the incentive. The more items you sell as a salesman, then sure, they'll reward you more. So now she gets a $40 bonus, but this is where we have to be careful. For this section here, what we have to think about, so this wouldn't necessarily be part of our work. Like this is what's kind of going on in your head here. But I want you to think about this. When she sells 21 items, this is one sale above or over 20, which if we just do that quick math in our head, well, if she makes $40 per sale for every sale over 20, she makes $500 for selling 20 things. So 500 plus 40, that's going to earn her 540. So this forward thinking in word problems does help you set up the correct equations. So if we think here, what this tells us is that when we plug in S equals 21, we should wind up with 540. So the problem with just writing S here is that S equals 21. 21 times 40 plus 500 is way, way, way over 540. So we have to be very careful. So we're going to throw in an S minus 20 here because remember what I uh, just said to think about. When we plug in S equals 21, we should get 540. And when we plug in 21, 21 minus 20 is 1. 1 times 40 is 40, plus 500 gives us the 540. Okay, so now we're ready to combine these two equations from these two different domains to write our piecewise function. So we're going to name our piecewise function B of S. And we'll draw in our brackets. And we're going to write the first domain first. When S is less than or equal to 20, the equation is 25 times S. And for the next domain, when S is greater than 20, 
we have 40 times s minus 20 plus 500. And remember, this is for when Lucy makes more than 20 sales. Okay, and once again, this function does make sense because when Lucy makes more than 20 sales, it accounts for the fact that she already made 20 sales, so she has $500 of profit already locked in. So now this completes part A for us. And now part B and C are fairly simple because now all we have to do is plug into this formula we just created. So in August, Lucy made 18 sales. Find the bonus for August. Well, now we just plug in 18 to our function. And when we plug into a piecewise function, the first thing we have to determine is where does 18 land? Is 18 in the first or second domain? And since 18 is less than or equal to 20, we're going to plug 18 in for this part here. 25 times S, we're going to have 25 times 18. Okay, so to simplify this, we could use a calculator or you could just do the multiplication in your head. Either way, uh, but 25 times 18 is 450. So then we want to find her bonus for the month of August. That tells us here that Lucy's August bonus is $450. Okay, now the last thing to look at here for part C is we want to calculate Lucy's September bonus. And Lucy made 25 sales in September. So if we evaluate our function B of S at S equals 25, well, once again, we just have to say, where does 25 fit in the domain? And 25 is greater than 20, so we would plug in S equals 25 to our bottom equation here. So we'd have 40 times 25 minus 20 plus 500. And if we work this out, this tells us here, we're going to have 40 times 25 minus 20 is 5 plus 500 and we'll just simplify this here this is going to work out to 200 plus 500 which is 700 so this tells us here that lucy's bonus in the month of september is 700 dollars. okay well this is going to conclude this piecewise function word problem if you found this video to be helpful please click the like and subscribe buttons below it really helps me grow the channel and if you got any requests, future topics you want me to cover, leave them in the comments section below. And thank you for watching.